After the Bell, presented by Nathaniel Lee, attorney at law. Well, let's go after the bell with Brian Martin and live in Los Angeles. Brian, Americans seem like they just won't stop spending. Good evening, Phil and Alexis. Yeah, even with crazy high inflation, U.S. retail sales rose 1.3 percent in October. This is a number that should be going down as the Fed raises rates. Well, shoppers spent more on groceries, gas, furniture, cars, but they cut back on electronics and sporting goods. And another problem, consumers relied on debt in order to pay for most of it. Credit card balances, as we've talked about, just keep going up. But the strength of consumer spending is a problem for the Fed and its efforts to get inflation in check. On the markets today, stocks closed lower for the second time in three days. The Dow losing today 39 points. Well, your next cup of coffee could soon cost less. Coffee futures are trading down about 35 percent. Some rainy weather in Brazil means a strong coffee crop this year, and the U.S. dollar is also strong. You combine the two, coffee prices go down, at least eventually, and that is potentially good news for coffee aficionados who've watched coffee prices jump 15 percent over the past year. Well, this is the new, all new, shall I say, 2023 Toyota Prius, and dare I say it looks kind of cool. The car has a lot more power, about 200 horsepower. It promises 57 miles per gallon of gas. But it's actually the looks everyone's talking about. Always considered boring. This new Prius is kind of pointy. It's a little aggressive. No word yet, though, on pricing or when this new car might hit dealers. Reporting live, I'm Brian Martin, Phil and Alexis. Back to you. I think it did look pretty cool as well. You know, old me would have been like, a Prius? New right. me is like, ooh, that looks mm-hmm. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> hey, hey, Brian, yesterday we talked about Walmart. Today, though, uh, Target looks like they're not doing so hot. Yeah, Target says profit fell about 50% for its third quarter. That's pretty big. The company says sales slowed. Target also told investors to lower expectations as we head into what should be a cha-ching holiday season, right? It also wants to cut $3 billion in total costs over the next three years. Shares fell about 13% on this news today. And if you're wondering how people are dealing with inflation these days, basically how Target is doing really says a lot. Guys? Mm. Well, Brian, thank you.